What's up, pops? How you guys doing? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. So today is a video, um, it's different than any video that I've ever done before. Um, I'm sure you guys have noticed that there is a current trend on YouTube, and they are story time videos, so I figured I would tell you guys a story um, about my life. If you guys enjoy it, then I might do more of these types of videos, so just let me know in the comments down below at the end of the video. Anyway, um, I'm sure as you can see from the title, this is a very interesting uh, situation, um, so I'll just get into it, I guess. Where do I even start? <laughs> this is like, this is weird. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I should just start from the beginning. <sighs> okay. So this was at a previous job of mine and I was not the most liked person at that job. Um, I got made fun of a lot, um, which is not anything I'm not used to because that happened to me in school too. So I wasn't uh, very well liked. Um, there were multiple times that I would hear my coworkers talking about how they were going to go out and then I wasn't invited. <laughs> um, so it was weird. Uh, so this one night I kind of overheard that they were going somewhere and I kind of invited myself. Um, whether I should have done that or not, who, you know, whatever, but yeah. So um, I get to the bar and everyone's together and I sit down and we're chatting and I happen to see out of the corner of my eye a guy that we work with and I've worked with him at this point for a while um, and I always thought he was kind of cute. So <laughs> my coworkers caught me like staring at him and they were like, oh, you like him? And I'm like, I don't know. And they're like, you should go talk to him. I'm like, no, I don't think so. And they're like, no, you should go, you should go. So. Finally got up and I went and talked to him and he didn't know who I was. He completely shot me down and whatever. Um, so I turned back around and my coworkers were gone. So I was left in this bar and out of nowhere, this like guy like gets my attention and I'm like, who is this dude? This is weird. So I'm talking to him and he seems to like know a lot about me, which is weird because I don't know him. Uh, but yeah, we get to talking and he asks me some like weird questions and they made me feel uncomfortable So I was just like, you know what? I'm going home. I'm leaving the bar So I leave the bar and he suddenly is like right behind me and I was like wait like is he following me home now? This is weird. So the guy asks me if I'll just sit down and hear him out for a second So I say fine. So we sit down and he tells me that he's the devil And I'm like, all right guy, whatever and he's like, no, I really am and I'm like, okay. So I try to leave and he does a couple parlor tricks to try to like prove to me that he's the devil. I told him I was hungry and to like get me food and he like literally took me to a place to get food. Like he didn't make it appear. So we're like, yeah, all right, whatever, man, get out of here. Fast forward a little bit, right? And I run into this guy again and I asked him, I'm like, okay, so hypothetically, if you are the devil, like what, like what does that mean for me? And so he basically explains that, like, if I signed a contract, um, I would get a bunch of wishes. And I was like, huh, okay, well, that sounds kind of cool. So the devil shows me, like, an image of me and the guy that I work with, like, together. He was like, this could be you if you sign the contract. And I'm like, I don't know, guy. Like, this is weird. But I finally signed. Whatever. So I said that I wanted to, like, be married to him and be, like, rich and powerful, right? So... He like does this thing and suddenly I wake up and I'm like this rich and powerful lady like running my own business and I'm married to this guy and I was like, what? This is crazy. Like I'm dreaming, right? No, I wasn't dreaming. It was real. So I'm talking to the guy now who's like my husband, like the guy that I work with. We are now married and I was just like, oh my God, this is like a dream. Like this can't be real. Like I'm really married to him. And so a couple of the people that I guess worked for me told me that they needed me to come down to the stables because there was an issue. And I was like, oh, all right. So we go down to the stables and apparently I was a drug cartel person. Like I ran a drug cartel. What? No. So I'm just like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. And like suddenly like one of the guys was yelling at me in Russian and I knew Russian. And I was like, what is this? Like how, how? So also turns out that the guy that I worked with, my now husband, is like cheating on me with another chick and I'm like, really? I forgot to mention, I should probably backtrack. The devil gave me like this little beeper and he said if I had any issues I could just dial 666 and I would be sent back to him. 
So I hit 666 because now suddenly these drug people are like chasing me and trying to kill me. And I was like, what the heck? Okay, so basically like this happens like multiple times. Like, cause I think I had like seven wishes or something. I like make a couple different wishes each time to like try to make sure that like everything works out perfectly. It never seemed to work out. The devil was a complete asshole. Like he kept screwing with my happiness. Like what the heck, devil? You're not supposed to do that. We made a deal. So I had like one wish left, right? And so the devil tells me like, when my one wish is up, like my soul is his now. And I was like, no man, like my soul is mine. Get out of here. And he's like, no, it's gonna be mine. And I'm like, Ugh, no. So all of a sudden he like, pulls me into hell and he's like, make your wish now, like with his big spiny fork. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. And he's like, do it now. And I'm like, fine, I just want that guy that I like to be happy. And he was like, oh, great. And then suddenly like I'm back to normal and like everything's back to normal and I'm like, okay, what happened? I'm not in hell anymore. And the devil appears next to me and says, oh, well you must not read your contract, but like if you give your wish away, like for the well-being of others, like the contract is null and void. And I'm like, oh my God, so I totally get to keep my soul. And the devil's like, yeah, you get to keep your soul. I'm like, what? This is amazing, best day ever. You know, the devil ended up being like a pretty nice guy. Um, we're, you know, we don't really talk anymore. Um, but yeah, like that was crazy, right? Like I couldn't believe that I sold my soul to the devil. Like I was like, what? Like all because I thought that I needed to find happiness and like being with someone, but like really I just needed to be with myself, like be happy with myself and I'd be fine. So anyway, like after all of this happened, like I decided I was like, you know, I should really talk to my coworker and see if like he might actually want to go on a date with me. Um, so I go up to my coworker, I'm like, hey, dude, like, I think you're really cute. We should go out sometime. And he was like, oh, you know, I really appreciate that, but I'm actually seeing somebody. And I'm like, ah, uh, all right. Hey, but at least I tried, right? So I moved and um, a couple weeks after I moved, someone else moved in next to me. And it was a guy that looked just like my coworker. And I was like, what? So the guy like says, hey to me. And he's like, I'm just moving in. Do you mind? Like, are you busy? Do you mind helping me? And I'm like, um, do you have like a brother or something? Because you look so much like someone else I know. He's like, no, I'm an only child. And I'm like, oh my God, no way. So like I helped him move. And then now like we've been seeing each other for a while and that's pretty cool. But anyway, yeah. So that was my crazy story of me selling my soul to the devil. <laughs> So just be careful with who you talk to, you know? You never know who is gonna offer you like what seems like a really cool deal, but like it's not. So anyway, um, if you guys enjoyed this first story time, leave a comment down below and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. Um, it was really hard to tell. Like I understand now why people sometimes like struggle to get through a story time video. Like it's really hard to get something like that off of your chest, but you know, I just feel like it's it's something to definitely share with you guys. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not even sure if I was really supposed to talk about this. I think I could possibly be like screwing with the devil's plans and stuff. He might not be happy about that. Oh well, I guess we'll find out. If this is the first video that you're seeing of mine, hi, I'm Kaylee. You should subscribe by hitting that red button right down below and we can become best friends forever. Links to my Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram are also down below. I'll see you guys in a few days with another video. Peace out, Trout.